My Caspa Exit Strategy. When do you sell your Caspa? Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm Chris and today we're about to see what's going on since yesterday in the Caspa price. We were about to see all the latest news around the price, the market cap, the hash rate and also the addresses. We're going to see some technical analysis and then guys we're about to speak when and if you should take profits in your Caspa holdings. So we are about to speak for lots of interesting things. This was a request you asked me a lot and here on this video I'm going to give you my reply and my exit strategy plan. So if you're interested to know all of these things all you have to do is to remain until the end of the video and before we continue I would like to clarify you that I'm not a financial advisor. Whatever that we are going to see in this video is my own personal opinion, my personal approach. Always do your own research before any kind of financial investment and also if you're a Casper enthusiast, Casper holder or Casper investor I recommend you to subscribe to my channel because here you're about to find daily videos about Casper. I'm trying guys to educate you and inform you with the latest news of the market and especially around Caspa so it's gonna be very beneficial to you to have a subscribe to me and also do not forget to check my Patreon group because here you're about to find my private telegram community where you're gonna have access to speak with me 24 7 and uh, you can ask me absolutely everything that you would like any question any concern around the Caspa and around in crypto in general I'm gonna be happy to reply that and also in this group we have lots of multimillionaires, lots of guys with very high experience in the crypto space and all together we are working like a team and we are helping each other to succeed uh, our goal and also you're about to have access to my crypto portfolio, you're about to see exactly what I'm holding and how I handle my crypto portfolio since 2016. Uh, which uh, at that time it was my first time uh, that I had experience in the crypto space so we understand I have got a couple um, experience behind my back and obviously you're about to have my buy signals, take profit signals and sell signals so if you are interested to build connections, to have fun, to upgrade your knowledge and obviously make gains, this Patreon group is for you and I'm waiting to see you there and without losing more time let's get straight and fast to the latest news around the price and the market cap and the uh, hash rate and also obviously the addresses and then we're going to move into the topic of the video. Guys, since yesterday Caspa actually dropped a little bit more. Right now we are at 0.035 cents and as you can clearly see from the chart here, uh, it seems that we are moving into another downtrend because I actually changed position of this line because it was here. Okay, uh, we had this downtrend movement, we broke it, but it seems that right now we are forming another downtrend movement as we uh, saw this downtrend movement of the Caspa from the point that we were at 0.044 cents. It seems that we found weakness to continue this rally into the upside. So here we are forming another downtrend movement where, uh, guys, we have a very, very close resistance and if this resistance is going to break we won't only form a double bottom because you look at this we have the one bottom here and the second bottom it could be this one okay so in any kind of in any possible reversal here the situation is going to flip into extremely bullish because we are about to break this downtrend movement and we're going to get straight to the 0 0.040 42 cents, which is a very, very significant resistance of this double bottom. And then if we're going to break also this resistance, we're going to get straight into the technical price target of the double bottom. Okay, which let's say, uh, let's, suppo let's suppose that is, this is the lowest point that we have here. We're going to get straight approximately to 0 0.048 cents uh, within 0 0.049 cents. So as you understand this, this could be uh, very bullish. Uh, if we see any kind of reversal now and break this uh, downturn resistance. So we are observing that and uh, I recommend you to exploit this type of dip because maybe it's going to be the last one. Okay, some people believe that Caspa can drop under three cents. Uh, personally, I don't care. Okay, even if it's going to happen, which I believe it won't because fundamentals are more important than technicals. Uh, some people will say that right now we have this uh, head and shoulder, okay, but I don't believe that we're going to form the technical price target of uh, this head and shoulder. Maybe I'm wrong, okay, 
uh, but I rely more into fundamentals rather than just technicals. Uh, for example, if we're going to see any major top tier exchange tomorrow, the price will skyrocket no matter what. So don't rely that much on technicals because you can get wrecked very badly. And also, guys, I'm here to take profits in the 2025, not anytime soon. So I always buy and I don't care to sell anytime uh, soon or whatever. So it's not a big deal for me if I see lower than three cents, which I hope because at that point I'm going to buy another big bag, huge bag of uh, Caspa. I'm going to be happy. OK, I'm not going to freak out or whatever. We are investors here, not traders. And also, guys, I would like to speak around the rank of Caspa. After this drop, we are still in the top 50 coins, which is astonishing. OK, market cap is 730 million dollars which as you understand is a very great opportunity and very great buy zone and also the has rate right now is approximately 14.5 uh, peta has per second within 15.5 uh, peta has per second it's fluctuating at these areas which is quite good okay from uh, time to time we're about to see a new all-time high at 16 peta has per second which is going to be very great and also from the addresses I'm going to show you that Mixi bought more Caspa coins seen yesterday. Uh, KuCoin bought another 2 million. So as you can clearly see, KuCoin uh, is exploiting this dip and they're buying in silence uh, around 2 million each day. Let's see if this accumulation will continue the next coming days. And also Get.io bought some more Caspa coins. So as you understand, the whales are buying right now and this is exactly what you should do. Don't wait for uh, the opportunity of one cent or two cent because maybe it will never happen. Okay. Anyway, uh, this is exactly what's happening uh, from the news. And let's go, guys, into the topic of the video, which is actually my Caspa exit plan. And that exit plan was actually my previous exit plan of 2021, uh, which I did in my Bitcoin holdings. Because for those who don't know, I was quite Bitcoin Maxi. You can call me Bitcoin Maxi because I wasn't believing in something else rather than Bitcoin at the time. And I was investing in altcoins just to make more bitcoins but this is a strategy that maybe i will speak uh, in another video anyway uh what i did guys for those who don't know i was an investor from 2016 and in the first run in my life i did very very bad mistakes because first of all i didn't took profits okay i saw an insane rally i saw an insane explosion into my portfolio i was actually became suddenly rich and then i came back to my initial investment and that was very frustrating to handle it because i had an approach like the bitcoin maxis which, which say that uh, we buy and we never sell because uh, we are approaching the 2030 the 2040 the next decades but there is a small difference within people, okay? There are some rich people which, let's say a random example, okay? You have 5 million. And if you have 5 million and you put the 4 or the 3 million into Bitcoin, yes, you can actually wait more than a decade, okay? Two decades. And you never take the profits. But if you have like $5,000, $10,000, and uh, you put there the $8,000 into the Bitcoin, uh, yes, you're going to make some profits, but you need those money, okay? You need those money either for invest or either to just wait. And when the price is going to get down lower, you're going to buy more, okay? Uh, it's not the same. So when Michael Saylor says that uh, only buy Bitcoin and never sell, obviously he has billions, okay? Even from 5 billions, if he used the, the 4 billions, he got left with 1 billion. Even if Bitcoin will get to zero, this guy will not have trouble in his life. But you, as a typical investor, or me, or uh, the average guy, who, if the crypto is going to get to zero, maybe we're going to have a trouble to live, or we're going to lose our savings, or our investment, or whatever. Uh, and here I would like to mention, you guys, never ever put an amount which uh, there is a probability to cause you stress. Always invest in crypto an amount that, even if you lose it, you won't care about. OK, uh, always, because that can make you very bad psych psychologically. 
anyway here i have got some tips because sometimes guys i forgot uh to say some tips that i would like to tell you and uh the first tip that i would like to tell you into my caspa exit plan is i always because that reason which i told you of michael seller or any other guy who are looking in the long term i have the same vision but also would like to enjoy my life and enjoy the perfect investment guys 20 percent of my holdings will never be sold okay and i'm talking for caspa holdings and bitcoin holdings so what i do as i told you guys you can clearly see here in the first bull run of my life i didn't take profits and i became all the way up rich and and I came back approximately uh, two or three times in the bear market and what I have invested back in the days. So I took my lessons and the next bull run, as you can clearly see in the 2021, I took profits in the proper time. Okay, I don't say that I took all the profits in the proper time, in the proper time but I was like 70%, 60%. It was in the sweet spot. It was actually in these areas, in these heights. Okay, the majority of my profits that I took, it was at this hedge. Uh, subsequently, obviously, the rest profits, uh, which ex I exclude in those percentages, the 20%. Okay, uh, I don't incorporate the 20% into these percentages that I told you. Uh, and the rest, 30-40%, obviously, because, guys, no one can actually uh, find the top or the bottom. Anyone who say that, uh, that he can predict the bottom and the top, is actually a liar no one even uh, no matter how expert you are if you predict the bottom and the top of the bear market of the bull run you are a liar uh, and you are just lucky okay uh, obviously we have very very uh, knowledgeable guys with very high experience into the micro analysis but uh, let's be real, okay? No one can say that $100,000 can be the top of the Bitcoin. No one can predict that. Uh, anyway, so uh, the rest of the profits, the 34%, I took these uh, approximately at those areas where uh, the last 10 or 20%, it was approximately at this $30,000 area, $28,000 area, $29,000 area, and I left with 20%. And I was waiting, okay? And when the Bitcoin price dropped into very serious numbers uh, like uh, $19,000, under $20,000. I started again buying back with these gains. So it was amazing because I started again accumulating in all these very low prices while I, have, I had got crazy profits from these areas. So yes, you take profits from Caspa, but you're going to reinvest when the price is going to get lower. But for the long run, okay, uh, this uh, time, this period actually lasted, the duration of this period was above two years. It wasn't actually a month's period or whatever. Uh, you can clearly see the dates. It was uh, April 2021, a data approach, and the other was approximately the October of 2021. And the, the time that I was actually buying back, it was the summer of 2022 and all the 2023 and etc. So this is exactly what I'm going to do into the CASPA. And some more tips that I would like to tell you with the Caspa exit plan and how you can do that properly. Uh, guys, usually we see three to five times more market cap than we had in the previous bull run. So the previous bull run, we had approximately three trillions. And I have told you that uh, we estimate right now to see 10 trillions to come into the space of the crypto. So that's going to explode the price a lot of Bitcoin, of the altcoins. We're going to see uh, unprecedented numbers. So as you can uh, see here, I estimate approximately 3 trillion to 5 trillion the Bitcoin price, which is crazy. Okay. And especially with Bitcoin ETF, we are about to see crazy numbers of the Bitcoin price. So right now, as you have got some tips already, uh, let's speak how you can do that properly. You can clearly see a little before this number hits. Okay, this is estimate. A little before, let's say we have got 8 trillion, 7 trillion, uh, 9 trillion, depends how risky you would like to be. Uh, you can start pulling off your 
profits okay you can start pulling off some caspa you can set an amount like 10,000 uh caspa off 100,000 caspa off and uh with a method of dollar cost average but in reversal like uh you sell right now not not you don't buy uh you start pulling off and the method is depends on your preference you can do that monthly or you can do that weekly Okay, or some people daily. You can start pulling off daily. I don't recommend the daily. I recommend the weekly or even better the monthly. It depends your preference. And you're going to start pulling off when we're going to reach these numbers. And as you can clearly see, approximately Bitcoin will reach an all-time high by then. If you see especially Bitcoin above $200,000, $250,000, $150,000 is a great time to start pulling off. Okay, and some more great tips that you need to have in your mind. Uh, no one can predict the top and the bottom, we estimate. Uh, I told you that before too, but uh, I would like also to say that again because it's really important. Because when you're going to see uh, Bitcoin in 200 or $250,000, you will see lots of guys uh, calling that Bitcoin will get straight to five hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars if we reach the five hundred thousand dollars okay you're gonna see it. at that time people were gonna say that bitcoin will reach to a million so you need to realize that when you see these type of um numbers three to four x the total market cap bitcoin above a very serious number it's better to start selling off because at the end of the day guys profits is, is profits and even if you don't um predict the top of the bitcoin correctly you're gonna get the profits and let's be real if caspa will get above to 100 billion lots of guys that are early investors gonna make lots of money okay even if caspa gonna reach 100 billion guys we are speaking for 100x your initial amount uh we can see up to 200x even 300x with a very great adoption which is crazy okay so as you understand profits is profits if you see your initial investment at 200x 250x 300x even if you don't uh calculate very well the top of the market and caspa for example will get straight 500x in the first bull run 300x 200x 100x is not bad at all okay but i believe if you do this method with a weekly or monthly uh sell-off of your caspa at the peak of the market uh you're gonna be safe okay the average of uh, the sell-off is gonna be a very great uh ratio which is going to make you to enjoy your profits. This is exactly my exit plan strategy. I hope, guys, that I covered everything that I would like to tell you. Uh, and if I didn't, I will make another part two for that. Uh, we are about to be together for a long period of time. Every day I'm going to do Casper videos. So in every video, I'm sharing with you every possible tip uh, that you will need and it's going to be helpful for you to understand how you should actually act in this current market in the crypto space and also how you should react for a project like caspa which is once in your lifetime opportunity okay i have in the same category bitcoin and caspa nothing else is comparable with caspa and bitcoin uh, but caspa the difference with bitcoin is uh, not only that is better and it can accomplish uh, 100 percent the satoshi nakamoto vision but it also uh, has very big space for incredible growth this is another big factor that I love Caspa. Okay, you're gonna make lots of gains. It's like we turn back the year and we get back to 2013, 2012, and right now we are moving into the bull run, which is astonishing. And before I close the video, some people are always ask me, Chris, uh, where you buy, where you store Caspa? Guys, I buy from Mixi, and by getting into that link, uh, you're going to have some discount in the trading fees. And I prefer Mixi not because this is sponsored or whatever. I prefer Mixi because it it doesn't have uh, the KYC, which is really important for me. And um, also, I love the interface and all of these things. I prefer it over the others. Uh, it's more reliable into my eyes. So uh, with this link, you're going to have some discount. And also, I prefer Tajem Wallet because I believe according to my preference, is 
the best cold storage into the market okay i prefer it over the rest cold storages and also this is not promotional this is what i believe is the best in the market uh, and through the crypto Chris code you're gonna have a 10 percent discount of your cards i suggest you to go and get the three pack cards not the two pack cards three pack cards is better and more safe too and uh, otherwise if you don't put the crypto Chris code uh, you can go through my link here and through that link you're gonna get that bonus and this is the video guys i hope you enjoyed that let me know if you have any question i will be happy to reply that and i will see you all in my next video until then your boy chris out bye